We are now going to examine the issue of discipline from a caring growth point of view. You remember that when we spoke about empowerment, we indicated that empowerment means to give people the means, the ability and the accountability to do what's required of them. And accountability means that the person is either censured or punished consistently with the standard that is operative for the task that's required of them. We also indicated that when one is busy uh, empowering somebody, one can make one of two mistakes. We spoke about the hard mistake. And the hard mistake is what happens when you treat means and ability issues as if they are accountability issues. So the person's performance is below standard because you haven't given the means to do what's required of them or they aren't able to do what's required of them and you censure or punish the person. That's unfair. You can't do that. The soft mistake, however, is what happens when the person has all the means and the ability to do what's required of them. They are therefore accountable, but you don't uh, censure or punish them. You send them on a course or you give them more means. Um, in other words, when you do this, what you're doing is you're treating accountability issues as if they are means and ability issues. And we indicated that, in fact, the, the, of the two mistakes, the soft mistake and the hard mistake, the soft mistake is infinitely worse because what happens with a soft mistake is that you basically bless malevolence throughout the organization. Now, the reason why the soft mistake happens partly is because there's this register in our current way of looking at discipline, which basically indicates that when you discipline somebody, you shouldn't discipline to punish or censure them. You should discipline in order to correct the behavior. Now, when you have that view that discipline is about correcting behavior, you actually end up entrenching the soft mistake. We indicated that the value that underlies discipline is fairness. Fairness and discipline is concerned with the intent to censure carelessness and punish malevolence. It does not mean the intent to remediate. To indicate what this means, assume that I'm a judge and I'm presented with three different cases. The first person brought before me took a purse because she's a kleptomaniac. The second person took the purse because her husband was hungry. The third person took the purse because it was lying next to hers and it looked exactly the same as her own. Now, if I were to deal with these three people with the intent to remediate them, then what would become apparent is that for the third, first person, I would send her for psychological treatment. The second person, I'd grant a welfare grant or I'd offer her a job. And the third person, I'd buy a new pair of spectacles because she obviously couldn't see the purse properly. All three of these instances are inappropriate. If I did what was fair, in the first instance, I would punish the person because it was deliberate. The second instance, I would punish the person because that was also deliberate. And in the first instance, I would censure the person because it was careless. In other words, when you view discipline from the point of view of remediation, you actually end up entrenching the soft mistake.